Jack Reacher has returned, but wait a second. That is not Tom Cruise. Today, we're gonna talk about the brand new Amazon Prime series. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Admittedly, I saw the trailer and I was excited, but in a hesitant kind of way. So today we're gonna talk about it, spoiler free, of course, and I need your comments down below. What is your favorite version of Jack Reacher thus far? And are you familiar with the source material? When retired military police officer Jack Reacher is arrested for a murder he did not commit, he finds himself in the middle of a deadly conspiracy full of dirty cops, shady businessmen, and scheming politicians. With nothing but his wits, he must figure out what is happening in Margrave, Georgia. By the way, I am getting over the flu, feeling a little better, so thank you guys for the kind words, but Alan Richin plays our title character. This dude is built. He is the physical specimen that fits quite perfectly for who you picture as a Jack Reacher, and a lot of people have read the source material. I am not one of those, but just knowing what I know about the character, I see Alan Rich and I'm like, yeah, that's it, okay? I, I am automatically fearful when that guy walks into a room, and you can understand and believe via what this show is telling us that he has, in the words of Liam Neeson, a very particular set of skills. And he showcases that very much so in the first episode. It is your classic introduction. A guy comes in, I won't use the word framed, but he gets in trouble for something that he didn't necessarily do, makes his way into detainment, beats a couple of guys up, comes out and helps the very people that got him in that situation in the first place. And uh, some likable and unlikable qualities for those that are assisting him, I guess, he is technically assisting them with this murder mystery investigation, but at the end of the day, they're really assisting him because he is the guy that knows, let's just say a lot more than these side characters believe because he has been there and done that. He was a military officer, but it goes beyond that. Everything that uh, they read off in one of the episodes saying, oh, well, he's done this, he's killed this many people, he is trained and has mastered this set of 17 skills, and you're just like, yeah, I believe it. I believe it not only because of his physicality in the role, but uh, he's also very intimidating when he walks into a room. There is this confidence that occasionally comes across as arrogance, but it's almost like he has a right to be arrogant. But at the end of the day, when you learn his personality in the show, you understand that it is solely and purely confidence because he is so good at what he does. I think that's one problem some may have with his character, just the fact that he is so good that occasionally it comes across as cockiness, but I found there eventually to be a nice balance with the way he was portraying the character. Now, I think Tom Cruise, just being the actor that he is, brought a lot to the role, and I enjoyed the first Jack Reacher movie. Uh, wasn't blown away or anything. The second one, it wasn't good at all. This show, while I believe the writing could have maybe taken a step up at points, the mystery itself isn't as compelling as the character. But if you approach this as more of a character-centric show, focusing on the relationships and uh, really Jack Reacher at the center, building him through a series of flashbacks, a uh, relationship with his brother when he was younger that just allowed him to grow into the man that he is. We get all of these things as the show progresses. If that's how you approach this and just enjoying a lot of these incredibly choreographed action scenes that were occasionally overshadowed by filmmaking that uh, wasn't perfect, but it got better as it went on, then I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. And again, I can't speak to the source material. All I can really do is compare it to what I've seen on the big screen. And I'm going to say, this doesn't only hold a candle to that. This, in my opinion, is the definitive version that we've seen thus far because he fits the role on a level that I just really responded to. And this is my kind of show. A guy who just comes in, makes his presence known, is so good at what he does, but not to the point to where it takes away from any stakes because there are absolutely stakes. One thing in particular that we realize in the first few episodes that he's having to go through that makes him more of a relatable character. Not only that, but we have the characters of Finley and Roscoe. Finley does not like Jack Reacher at first and vice versa. They do not get along at all. Uh, but 
inevitably they have to find a way to work together to solve this mystery and figure out why this small town is at the center of all of this madness. Then you have Roscoe, who at first I was hesitant. And maybe it was just the fact that I didn't know enough about her character, but as that relationship forms and they have this bond, quite a beautiful bond, especially at the beginning of the season. Uh, I really love their dynamic. There are twists and turns along the way. Again, I'm not going to use the word predictable. I'm just going to say the mystery itself isn't near as interesting as what I was enjoying about the show. So if that's kind of your focal point, I don't know if you're going to love this. And it does tend to get a bit melodramatic, not on the level that I've seen in other projects this year, but it's definitely there within the dialogue. So that's also something I hope they work on for future seasons. The mystery itself will occasionally bring about an emotional moment between two characters or just a character displaying emotion really well. And for the most part, I thought the performances were solid. It did take me uh, just a few minutes to warm up to Jack Reacher himself. But once I did personally, I thought he did a great job as the character. So before I give you guys my score, hey, if you're here, you want to support this video, I appreciate it more than anything. Be sure to drop your thumbs up down below and leave a comment. How did you feel about this show? Reacher has everything you want when it comes to showcasing a badass action hero. And while occasionally cheesy, the end result is a fun season of television. I can't stress that enough. I know I'm higher on this than some. I don't care. I really enjoyed it. 8 out of 10 for me and 80 percent uh these episodes flew by and i was invested really from episode one uh more so into the characters but i need your thoughts down below hey guys i appreciate it i still have to review jackass i promise it's coming appreciate you guys for your patience and i will be seeing you very soon